Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be making puff pastry. I know it's been a very long time coming but eventually I'd have to turn around and do it. So I've got all the ingredients up together so I thought I'd best get on with it. And don't forget guys your recipe is down below in the description and also down there you'll find a number of items like playlist which has got recipes for you and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe anyway we'll get right on with the video and for your recipe you want 453 grams of baker's flour 85 grams of trek or white shortening 6 grams of salt four grams of cream of tartar. You want 115 grams of ice cold water, 340 grams of butter. First thing you need to know about making puff pastry, you need a cold kitchen. Okay, this is not possible in the summer. Even my own kitchen now is 20 Celsius. So your friend is going to be the fridge. So every time you do summer, you're gonna be going back to the fridge all the time. Now to start off, what is a really good idea is putting all your ingredients into a fridge if it's a really, really hot day, especially butter. Anyway, we'll get right on with making the pastry. Right, we'll start by mixing our shortening into our flour. We wanna make this into a nice crumb. Get both hands in. Right, now add in your salt and your cream of tartar. Mix this all in. Now I can feel the flour. This flour is quite warm. Now you want very cold flour. Make well, add in your water. We'll add in half of it to start with because you might not need it. The important part of making the pastry is your dough wants to be the same consistency as your butter. If your butter is too hard, it will just break down the layers. That feels as though I want some more water in it. You just want to bind this all together before we put it on the table and mold it up. This one's end up a nice smooth dough. I used to put this straight into a dough machine and mix it up years ago. But then I'd probably be doing 20 blocks of this. Right, what we're gonna do is now pop it onto the table and just mold it up. We want a nice smooth dough. Now obviously this does look like bread making. You could say that. This is good quality organic flour, this is. And this is basically making a dough anyway. And I believe that is actually getting to the right consistency now. I can start to feel that. It's almost like a dough. Obviously, this isn't smooth enough yet. Ah, it's starting to look like it. Surprising how much water that gluten does suck up. Right. Okay, that's not as smooth as I want it to be, but... I don't think I'm going to get that smooth as I want it. But that'll do for now. So all we're gonna do is let that rest for around about 10 minutes. Now this is the butter sliced up into pieces. Okay, this may look a bit white to you. It's because it is white. This is a different sort of butter to get at home. What we have to do is make it pliable. And what you need to do is make it into plaster scene and you do the same thing with butter. So you squash it together, and this is what you do with your butter. But obviously, if you remember, if it's a hot day, 
your butter will go a bit soft. To give you an idea, this is proper butter. This is what chefs use. Okay, not this brand, but a brand like it. And the same thing is, this has come out of the fridge a little bit earlier. And you do have to make this like putty. So you're getting your hand and now look what happens. My hands are red hot. And they don't really need to be like that. And see it's going, it's going wet. So the important part is, is to get rid of that wetness. A quick way of getting rid of the wetness is just straightforward kitchen paper. Put it on there. See? Now with this, you are going to want to roll it out. So though it's like this now, what you want to do is put this into a fridge. This is your butter. So if you're doing it with butter, this needs to go into a fridge because it will melt down rapid. As soon as I touch it, it's, look, it's already breaking down into, well, you can see, look, it'll just break up. So that needs to go into a fridge. This one is okay because this is baker's, a baker's product and it doesn't need a fridge. That's your pastry dough. I've just got out the fridge. It's nicely chilled down. You need a rolling pin, you need some flour, and obviously you need your butter or pastry margarine. So we'll start by rolling this out, a little bit of flour underneath. And you wanna be rolling this out to a sort of an oblong shape. A shake and we'll keep this nice and oblong. So you want to split it into three like this. Now these two parts are going to be full of butter or pastry margarine, whichever the case may be. If you're using butter, that's out of the fridge now, as you can see it's a lot better. You want to be rolling this out so it fits this area. All right, so if it does start to get a bit loose, pop it back in the fridge. But that's the idea, get it? Roll this so it fits that piece. But chilled the better. For us bakers, this is pastry margarine. And all we do is press it out and spread it across. Now with a bit of luck, I've already pre-cut these, so they should lay almost flat. <laughs> I say that. The same thing is with your butter. You can pre-cut it, but it's better if it's like plaster seam. Now most bakers use pastry margarine. Not many bakers use butter, and that's the main thing. You've got that on there. We're gonna turn this over. Make sure it's nice and even. And again, we turn this over to this side. And just make sure, the idea is to keep everything level like that. It, this is much better with a pastry machine, I must say. The idea of doing this by hand is not my particular idea of fun because it's a bitch trying to get it level. But nevertheless, rolling pin. Now, we want to take it down again. So we're sort of like, again, another oblong. So what we're going to be doing, we want to do two turns, they call it. You'll see what I mean in a minute. This is just putting the pastry in. Keep it nice and even. It's the important part. And remember, chilled kitchen is much better than a warm kitchen. Okay, 
Now this is what we're going to call a first turn, all right? Now we want to get rid of this flour. We don't want the flour in it, all right? That ain't no good for pastry. See, and then we turn this one over here. This is now your first turn, okay? Now we're going to do the same again, and a little trick. The old bakers would do this. On the side here, we'd go one, all right? So you write down one, so you know you've done one. So we turn this around again. I hope you guys are following this. Roll out a little bit. Again, this is for your second turn. Once again, keep it nice and even. And you can just imagine if you've got butter inside this now, your butter is getting really squashed down. So this is why you keep, keep it well in the fridge. Okay, this way a bit. Carl, give me back a rolling machine any day of the week. Guys, just buy it. Buy it frozen. <laughs> all ready to go. Saves you all this aggravation. You only want me to do this video because you just want to see, to make sure I actually physically do know how to make pastry. Believe me, I do. Right, there we go. And that is classified as our second turn. You don't really want this, you want it nice and even, but a bit more. Ain't bad for someone who's an amateur at this now. <laughs> Spent 15, 20 years baking pastry. And out of those 40 years I've been baking, it's like heaven not to do puff pastry. And the only reason I made it so much is because no one else could make the stuff. They classify me as like the pro at making pastry. <laughs> right, and we make that sure that's nice and level. Get rid of the flour. You don't want that. Okay, you don't really want this neither and be <laughs> like that, but hey, we'll go with it. It's not so bad. Nice. Neater the best, better really. Now that is your turn two. Now, you can't use this now. You really need, you need another five turns. So we need to now put, because it's the temperature in here, this now needs to go in a fridge. And it would be the same uh, if you had butter as well. So we're now gonna put this in the fridge for around about 10 minutes. Always make sure you cover your pastry over because you don't want any skin or anything on it. So we'll put that back into the fridge. I just got this out of the fridge. Right, and we need to give it our last turn. So once again, roll it out. If you had a proper electric machine, this would have been done in no time and you'd have been turning around saying, we all need one of those. Yeah, believe me, it's much easier with uh, a machine. Everyone kept saying in the bakery industry, your hands are cold, Steve. Well, they are actually. I think it's more a lack of circulation than anything else. We always do this last one just before we're ready to use the pastry. Because once you've done this, before you can actually use it for making pastry, you have to leave it about an hour. I won't be showing you how to use this pastry in this video as A, it's taking too long to make it in the first place and you can guess what's next, can't you? <laughs> but I may do a follow-up video using this pastry. Over you go. 
nice and square. Get rid of that flour. Further over. And there we go. So there's your puff pastry. All you need to do with that now is just wrap it up in some paper. Best thing to use is baking parchment. Don't tell me that's not gonna be enough. And you can guess where this is gonna go. Back into the fridge. But there you go, folks. Wasn't that easy? Now, the important thing is when making puff pastry, you need your kitchen cold. And I don't know how many times I'll tell you this, the colder the better. And that's the most important thing about puff pastry. Now, this is just one way of making puff pastry. Uh, I will show you another way of doing it as well, which is actually a darn sight quicker, but it's a little bit more skillful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to, and do check the description for your recipe. And whilst you're down there, you'll find playlists of more recipes. And we'll see you again very shortly in the Crazy Baker Kitchen. Laters! This is the Crazy Baker Channel. Baking. Lifestyle. Recipes. Reviews. I am the Crazy Baker. Please subscribe and please share. Laters!